Hey there, fellow summoners. Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest updates and strategies for League of Legends, Wild Rift. Today, we have some valuable information about the game's ranking system that will help you climb the ladder and achieve greatness. So, let's get started. To begin, let's talk about the rankings in Wild Rift. There are a total of 10 ranks that you can climb by participating in rank matches. However, starting from Season 3, you'll need to own 16 Legends in addition to reaching Level 10 to join the Rank Series. Here are all the ranks in Wild Rift, starting from Iron and going all the way up to Challenger. Only the best of the best can reach the top rank, Challenger, so get ready for an intense climb. So, how do you rank up? Well, when you win a game, you earn something called a Rank Mark. You need a certain number of rank marks to progress to the next tier. But be careful, because losing matches can cause you to lose rank marks and even get demoted if you lose too many. Now, it's important to note that ranks have divisions within them. You'll need to progress through each division to rise to the next tier. The number of rank marks required per division increases as you climb higher. Here's a breakdown of the required rank marks per division for each rank. The higher you go, the more challenging it gets, so be prepared for some tough battles. But wait, before you even get your initial rank, you'll need to complete placement matches. These 10 matches will determine your starting rank. The best part is that you won't lose any rank marks during placement matches, and you'll even earn 2 rank marks for each win. Once you reach Diamond, Master, Grand Master, and Challenger ranks, the currency switches from rank marks to victory points. These points are earned by participating in rank matches and are crucial to maintaining your rank. Wild Rift introduces something called Rank Fortitude, which rewards players in Iron through Emerald for playing well. The more Rank Fortitude you have, the better. It acts as a buffer and activates loss protection when you reach the halfway mark. This means you won't lose a rank mark if you lose a game. In Season 3, character bans were implemented in Wild Rift's ranked divisions to ensure a fair playing field. Each team has the option to ban three characters, preventing certain OP legends from dominating the rankings. It adds a new layer of strategy to the game. When it comes to queues, you can play ranked games with one, two, three, or five players. However, parties of four will have to stick to normal games. Just remember that your party members need to be within one ranked tier of each other to join a ranked game together. Now, let's talk about the exciting part, rewards. At the end of each season, players receive rewards based on their final or current rank. You'll also have a border around your icon and loading screen to showcase your progress throughout the season. Make sure to check the official page for the latest rewards. And that's it for today's video on Wild Rift's ranking system. We hope this detailed analysis has given you a better understanding of how to climb the ranks and compete with the best of the best. Remember, practice makes perfect. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more Wild Rift content. Good luck on your journey, summoners. See you next time.